What's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv, and I've got some more amazing recipes that we're gonna do right on the grill, but they start with super fresh herbs that I'm growing in my own garden. So let's go pick some fresh herbs. Let's grab some rosemary, some fresh thyme, parsley, might as well grab some oregano. Let's go to the greenhouse. Grab some basil. So we have all of the herbs from the garden that we're gonna put into the blender because we're gonna make this sort of paste, rub, marinade, if you will, that we're gonna put onto the beef. I'm just taking purple basil. In go the parsley, some oregano, got some rosemary, and I'm just gonna put the thyme right in there. There are all the herbs smelling really good. The uh, accompaniment for the herbs, a couple of cloves of fresh garlic have to go in there, right? That's gonna be like super important. And then we gotta season this a little bit. I'm gonna throw in some salt, a little bit of red pepper flake, helps us out. We're going with the herbs, a little bit of dried fennel. I've got some coarse ground black pepper. Let's drop in some olive oil, and then we will give this a go. I'm going to take my lovely flank steak, put him right into our food storage bag. We're gonna take the marinade that we just made. Look at all of this flavor going on in here. The key is to remove some of the air from the food storage bag and then get in here and toss this around so that the marinade gets all into the steak. While this is sitting out and marinating, let's go ahead and preheat that grill. All right, so my grill is preheated and ready to go. These steaks have been marinating in this lovely marinade. The thing about the flank steak is you wanna get it to like a medium, not too much further than that. So we'll shut the lid, let it go for just a few minutes, and then we'll flip it over. Look at this. Not quite ready to flip yet, but we're definitely getting it. Let's give our steaks a flip. Oh, look at that. That's what we're going for. Look at that. Our steaks have been cooking nicely. Oh boy. I'm gonna take them off. We'll put them back on the pan and we'll let them rest before we cut into them. All right, let's work on the chimichurri, which is going to be the condiment that we'll use for our steaks that are resting. All right, so first of all, I've got some cilantro, and I'm gonna throw the cilantro right into the food processor, stems and all. A couple cloves of garlic, some apple cider vinegar, a little bit of lime juice, or lemon juice, whatever you got. You need some salt and pepper, and then a little bit of sugar. Add the olive oil, and it's as simple as putting on the lid and letting it go. That's simple, right? And then now we have a fantastic chimichurri that's gonna be so delicious with that steak. So our steaks have had a chance to rest. I'm gonna grab this juicy one, and we're gonna come in and cut some slices against the grain. Look at that. This is what I'm talking, ooh we look at that. Let me cut a piece. You know, listen, Labor Day or not, a lot of nice chimichurri on mine. If you don't like cilantro, parsley works just as well, all right? People. People. First of all, the herbs are everywhere. The grill flavor, the acid, it all works together. And it's so good. You gotta give it a try, okay? Recipes like this, you know what they're gonna be? On the website, DariusCooks.tv. There's two things I gotta tell you, and I always do. Food is my life, life is my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you a happy cooking. Grilling, you get it. Eating, <laughs> from my heart to yours. Mm. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Mm-hmm.